Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Legends! And in this episode of our 70s season, as David Pearson, the Silver Fox, we should be doing race 12 of 27, which would be Michigan, right? Yes, the Motor State 400. Uh, yeah, also race 12. Last episode raced at Martinsville for the Virginia 500, and I feel like the game was just kind of rigged against me with that race. Like, I was running up front for a very long time, and a caution would come out at just the right time for me to be stuck a lap down. I'd get back onto the lead lap, and then they wouldn't throw another caution. And, and I guess that's the best way I can put it. But uh, A.J. Foyt won that race. Um, here are the standings, by the way, if you want to take a look at that. Richard Petty still leading this championship by 83 points over Buddy Baker. We are just two points behind Bobby Allison. And then there's a 16-point gap between Bobby Allison and Wendell Scott. I just want to win this race. It's a big old speedway, almost a super speedway, so maybe we can. Or we can blow up. I'd be perfectly fine with that, too, because, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised at this point. Richard Petty's on pole right now. We're going to be the 10th guy out on track for qualifying. He's got a 45-3. Um, so I guess I'll just want to stay in the 45s, and we should be able to start well. Yep, this is definitely Michigan International Speedway. It's kind of sad that they have more grandstands at this track in this game than they do in reality. I heard they took some away or they stopped seating some people in them. I'll just wait till we get this race started and they have them all filled up. Water tires. Water tires. Water towers. Very rural out around the back side of the track and in the front is uh, for all the fans and stuff. So I wonder like who was living in these houses and these barns and these, these buildings like who was in all these? Gosh, I keep missing turn three. I did this the first lap, I'm doing it the second one. Well, we got two laps, so I guess I'll drop the commentary for the second one, see if I can really nail it down. I don't expect this to lap, uh, have a really good time. Let's see what they say at the line. Okay, uh, 45-2. All right, well, we don't need to do a second lap. We're on the pole right now. Destruction! Okay, one guy was faster than our pole lap time, and that was Bobby Allison in his 22 Dodge. Uh, I'd say he nine hundredths faster than us. At one point, uh, Don Yallison came really close, and then Bobby Isaac came in close third. I think he was like the last guy to qualify. Okay, get ready. Going green. Yep, and I'm sitting okay, right here man. behind Bobby Allison. You take the green flag, green flag, green flag. and I'm going to be right there next to him. Gotta love Bobby Allison's uh, shiny golden red car. Wish I had a rear view mirror. I, I've said this a few times, but if I had a rear view mirror, I'd be able to see if there was someone coming on my inside with my spotter. There's only so much that he'll say. The wait till the last second kind of happens often. But we're on the A setup now. I always use the easy setup for the qualifying runs. Almost hitting the wall. Allison's giving me room on the outside. Now he's checking up. I'm trying not to drive it down into him. But yeah, it's a 50 lap race, and uh, it's a much tighter track with these cars than I'm used to in uh, all like the EA Sports games and stuff. Usually make it like 40 second lap times, it's 50 or 45 in this game. And I should be able to pace up with this A setup though. We'll see as the run goes on. Well, we've made it up to a 15.4 second lead. My fastest lap time was uh, 43.74, I believe. Uh, a few laps ago, my crew chief was going on about how my right front tire is getting worn out, or at least that's, I think, the tire he was talking about. So uh, now my lead has started to go down. It's going to go down more and more as we drive on these really, really worn tires. But I'm going to attempt to have my pit stop be at the end of lap 25. That way I know I can make it all the way to the rest of the end of the race. There's no telling whenever the, the caution will come out, trap me a lap down or some shit. I mean, I hope not. Okay, here we go. Now my pit stall is right over there. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down, park it. And our pit stop has begun. That was a successful uh, first run of the race. We should see uh, Bobby Allison coming right here. Yeah, there they all go, all lined up in tandem drafting in the 70s. Let's see how fast this stop is. And usually the best I get is like 22 seconds. 
24 or something. Okay, 23.73, that's about as fast as it gets. Well, you got people pitting right now. There's one guy there, a couple more guys right here. One, two, three. And uh, we'll have a bunch more pit stops from here on out. I'm 12th at the moment. People have been pitting for the past couple of laps. I like how I made this joke about falling a lap down and then a caution coming out, but I never fell a lap down during my pit stop. I was so far ahead that I'm still on the lead lap. Yeah, people pit road. Stop hitting the wall, Jason. You're stupid. Um, so all well, these pit stops just play out and we'll win the race. Or if a caution comes out, then we can pass people under the green flag and restart, it'll be bunched together. That'll be fun too. Um, it would just be nice if the car didn't blow up every single time I'm dominating a race. Okay, a lot of people pit this time. Uh, seventh, sixth, fifth, fourth. There's a car up there. Is that a guy that's falling a lap down? Because it says 12.2 seconds in the 55 car, and that's not the 55 car, that's a white car. Okay, yeah, that's Cecil Gordon falling a lap down. And Dave Marcus was the last guy to take his stop. We're back to the lead, and now we're about to lap Cecil Gordon and a couple other cars up there. You got one guy pulling off pit road in front of them, and they're all stacking up or something. Oh, yeah, led the most laps this race. I mean, I already knew that much. Um, whenever we, we took the lead this time by, and we led 24 laps before we took our stop. So, I guess I'll give you guys some footage of me actually racing cars. You know, they're pretty damn fast, it's just I'm a little bit faster. And then again, like a lot of NASCAR races were like this in the 70s, where I mean, one guy was significantly faster than second and third. Rarely would they be really close in speed, because they didn't have all these dumb restrictions on what they could do with their cars. I want to pass you. But, you are getting in the way. This sucks. Okay, a little draft. Two is inside. Blow turn three, like I always do. Let's go past those two guys. And I think I see uh, Elmo Langley and some other guy in a yellow car up there. That's, that kind of sucks. Can we do a little 360? There we go. I am the one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I have such a big lead that it's okay that I did that. How much did I lose from that? Uh, about nine seconds. Now I gotta lap these cars all over again. I'm kind of trying to go to the outside to do it, but you all know that's not gonna work. We'll dive it off and turn four and straight away and we'll pass in there. I probably destroyed my tires a lot more, so there's a possibility I could blow my right front in the closing laps of the race. I have come to pass you but I, I need to actually make turn three first. Get that run off turn four. And I'm gonna stay up top. There we go. Okay, so we got nine laps to go. Here we come. 
That being the 48 and the 64 again. And with nearly a 30 second lead, we're coming to the end of this 50 lap Michigan race. Yeah, I'm starting to lose my lead because of how worn these tires are. But uh, my right front never blew, despite me shredding them down the back stretch after bumping into tiny lunge. Finally, our third win of the season. We do a little donut. Yeah! Yes! Yes! Oh my god, yes! I love winning! I love winning! And we did that, we did the winning! Yes! 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 Hi. Up to 10th in the standings. Oh, I thought we'd get up to 11th at best, to be honest, but it was that dominant of a race. And then, yeah, we passed Bobby Allison. We were battling with him early on in the race. Or not really battling with him. He was just sitting in second watching me drive away. Uh, nine points behind Dick Brooks. Two um, behind James Hilton is Dick Brooks. So we can get up to 8th if we have a good race next time. What is the next race? Uh, it's Riverside. Okay, so we're not having a good race next race. But this is the Riverside 400. So ain't no Riverside 500. It ain't gonna take as long to record, but it's still gonna take a while. See you next time. That's that. And episode over.